Well, today marks the first time Stadia has given their official news, and we mostly have a light week, starting with a long-time game on Stadia now being free to play. An awesome game gets direct touch control support. Stadia is distributing a big survey on how to improve the platform, and I'm going to have quite a few details on this. Finally, some quick news about a porting service working on some Stadia games. Make sure you guys subscribe so you guys are always up to date with all Stadia news. So today's Stadia's blog post didn't contain anything big, and typically at the start of the year, we don't hear much until mid to late January and early February. But attached to today's news was a curious survey with questions that really stood out. Now, quite a few of these questions seem to directly ask about Stadia news, how you can consume it and how you want to receive it, and if you even bother with the Stadia blog posts at all. So it seems they genuinely want to improve their communication with Stadia users with several of these questions, and I think that's a really good thing because it is an area that can always be improved upon. But the question at the end of this survey is the one that really stood out. I feel everyone should go out and fill this out, even if you ignore the rest of this survey. It says, Stadia has granted you three wishes, and you can't wish for more wishes. What are you wishing for? So these are essentially your top three most requested things that you want to see with Stadia. Me personally, I'm going to put at the top of my list, simply just more games, obviously. Second would be maybe hardware upgrades. And then three is a little more curious for me. I put more countries expanded to because with more users comes more users within multiplayer games, but also more users to convince publishers to get their games onto Stadia. Now, this can be anything that you guys want to put down even if you want to put a specific game or genre go ahead and let this be about what your top three wishes are but just make sure you let your voice be heard and fill out this survey and put what you want to see the most with stadia let me know in the comments of this video what you guys wish for and i will have a link to this survey down below so you guys can go ahead and check this out with that guys we do have some slight gaming news here to cover PUBG has now gone free to play on stadia in today's blog post they mentioned starting tomorrow as in January 12th, but I noticed it's been free already in some places and available to play now. Now, if you've never claimed PUBG with Stadia Pro or you don't have a Stadia Pro active account, you guys can now jump into PUBG right now and play 100% free, which is awesome. 100 Days of Wine Making Simulator has also received direct touch control support, so now you can go ahead and use this on your phone well, your phone and play it pretty seamless with the touch gamepad. So that was a nice little addition. And then finally, guys, an interesting tweet here from Mantis Games. This is a gaming studio who has ported over games to Stadia. They said that they are working on titles for Stadia right now, but they can't disclose it yet. So it'll be curious to see what those games are. And of course, more games is always a good thing. Last thing that I want to mention in this video is Rainbow Six Extraction will be launching next week on Stadia. And if you happen to have pre-ordered the game a while ago at the full $60 price. Well, they actually dropped your pre-order. You're going to have to do it again at this newly discounted price. So just go ahead and keep that in mind. I'm looking forward myself to really playing this and covering this game next week. And you guys will have coverage of that. Should be a ton of fun. With that, guys, I'm Sunny, And as always, I'll see you guys in the clouds.